Hi, I'm Dr. Boyce Watkins from YourBlackWorld.com, and I wanted to take a second to talk about something that I saw in the media today, where uh, Evander Holyfield is pretty much the latest celebrity to uh, get hit hard with child support um, problems. Uh, I think Flavor Flav was one of the others that was going to get sent to jail, Dennis Rodman, uh, Terrell Owens. Uh, a lot of these guys are really having trouble paying their child support. Uh, after making you know way too many babies in the first place, and so uh, I wanted to share a couple of thoughts on this, and, and I'm gonna try not to be too judgmental about it because I don't think that's gonna be necessarily productive, but I think most of you know how I feel about this idea of of reckless, re irresponsible reproduction. Um, I think that anybody who has kids that where they bring them into the world, a situation where they're not wired to succeed, uh, does not love those children, and I think that. Uh, that that to some extent you may think you care about your kids, you may think that uh, you're happy you know, to have the kids in your life, but the fact is that if you are putting them in a situation where they're likely to not have both parents or they uh, are not likely to get what they need, then it's hard to, to argue if you deliberately did that or if you sort of let things happen in a way that was irresponsible or, or not thoughtful, um, it's easy. I, I would be the, one, the first one to say that um, you didn't make the right choice. And so when I look at these guys having all these babies and these babies are just out here doing only God knows what, um, a lot of them unfortunately are going to grow up to become menaces to, to society. Uh, a lot of them are going to repeat these cycles started by their parents. A lot of them will grow up without much of a value system or much of an opportunity to be successful. Uh, it really sickens me. And it makes me um, look at men, young men, who are emulating this behavior because a lot of this crap is coming from the media. We see these athletes and entertainers, you know, balling hard when they got this money, and and they're so excited about all the women that want to have sex with them when they're young, and then they spend the rest of their lives paying for it. You know, when when the guy can't catch another football anymore, he can't dunk another basketball, then suddenly he's got you know a hundred thousand dollars a month in child support that he can never pay, and he's probably got a fifth grade, sixth grade, seventh grade education in some cases, which means that he can't go out and necessarily make the kind of money he made as an athlete. Uh, and, and you've seen situations where guys have just put themselves in horrible positions as a result of this. Um, I, I think that for young men, I tell them uh, it's very important to understand that just because you have access to something doesn't mean that you should take it. Just because a pretty girl offers you access to her vagina, that does not mean that you're supposed to put your penis in that vagina. Because the fact is that if you mess around with some crazy woman and she ends up being the mother to your kids, I don't want to hear you complaining later on that she's taking all your money. Because it was your decision. You had pro-choice. You had the choice from the very beginning to uh, to not sleep with that person or to trust uh, that person with your seed. And so the same thing is true for women. You know, and we talk about, we have that debate all the time on my Facebook page. You're welcome to become my Facebook friend. Uh, the, uh, you have to go to the fan page. My regular page is full. Um, but on the, in the page, we talk about pro-choice, pro-life, etc. And I hear a lot of women say, well, you know, men shouldn't have a choice on whether or not to abort a baby because he had his choice when he decided to have sex. Well, guess what? As a woman, you have that same choice, too. The fact is that when you talk about uh, what happens to these kids, two, it takes two to tango. Uh, it's both parents deciding to lay down and make a baby that's not ready for the world. It's both parents deciding to uh, put themselves in a situation where you're at risk of all these crazy, horrible things happening. So uh, I put the onus on all of us uh, to really think about how we're bringing babies into this world. Uh, so when I look at Evander Holyfield uh, with 11 kids and all this other stuff, and I think he's got 400000 in child support, almost 400000 that he owes, and he might go to jail for it. Uh, it just makes me think, dude, what, what was wrong with you? You know, what was wrong with those women that were sleeping with you? Uh, you know, have it, when they know you've got all these kids, you're not taking care of them. I, I just don't get it. So I think that all of us need to really stop and think this thing through. I think that it's, um, you know, really when you look at what's happening in our community, to some extent we have a form of cultural terrorism where there are people who are literally destroying one another and destroying our community with very bad habits. And just like they say in New York when it comes to terrorists, if you see something, say something. That means if you got relatives in your family, friends, people you interact with who are engaged in ignorant crap, if you see something, say something. Speak up on it because you are your own greatest black leader. And don't back down from the ignorance because ignorance should not win in, in this battle for our souls. So anyway, uh, I'm about to go to bed. So uh, please check out yourblackworld.com. I'm Dr. Boyce Watkins. And until we meet again, please stay strong, be blessed, and be educated. I am gone. Peace.